What's up everybody, it's Sean here and I'm back today to give you guys a review of the Air Jordan 1 Retro High OG in the light fusion red colorway. First off, I want to give a huge thank you over to The Closet Inc. The Closet Inc. is my go-to spot for Air Jordan Retros and Nike releases and they're independently owned and operated right here in Southern Ontario in Canada. So for all my Canadian viewers out there, I'll link their website, their social media and their mobile app as well. So be sure to check them out, show them some love and support the independents. So these Jordan 1s dropped on June 12th for a retail price of 170 US dollars or 230 Canadian. And the official colorway for this shoe is light fusion red, laser orange, white and black. So diving straight into the details, on the toe box this is covered in this very nicely pebbled white colored leather. We have the signature perforated look on it and then surrounding the outer edge of the toe box this is covered in this light fusion red colored leather which also to the touch feels very soft and very premium. This red leather covers the eyelets of the shoe as well, and then underneath this on the mid panel of both sides of the sneaker, we have more of that very nicely tumbled white leather. Stitched on top of this, the swoosh here is done in this laser orange color, and then moving upwards, the side panels of the shoe, this again is covered in that light fusion red colored leather, and then stamped on the lateral side only, we have the Air Jordan Wings logo debossed in this black colored shiny finish. Surrounding the top portion of the ankle collar area, we have more of that tumbled laser orange colored leather, and we have another hit of that light fusion red leather covering the back heel. For the laces, these come with these flat white colored laces, which I personally really liked as it gives the shoe a bit more of a neutral look, especially when you compare it to the loud colors on the rest of the shoe. But they also give you three extra lace options, so there's a black colored lace, a light fusion red colored lace, and a laser orange pair as well. Underneath this, we have your traditional nylon tongue, which is done in this white color, and the Nike Air tag at the very top is done in this gradient finish. For the insoles, these come with their standard foam insole, and it's lined in this light fusion red color on the very top. And we have Nike Air stamped on the heel in this orange finish. So the upper of the Jordan 1 sits atop this white colored rubber cup sole, and encapsulated within this midsole, we have a Nike Air sole unit for cushioning and impact protection. And then turning the shoe over to the bottom, here we have your standard Jordan 1 outsole, and in this case, it's entirely constructed out of this black colored rubber. We have the circular traction pattern on the forefoot, along with Nike branding right in the center. So for those wondering how these fit, these fit the same to me as most of my Jordan 1s, so whatever size you normally wear, I'd stick with that same size. So for most people out there, that would mean sticking true to size, unless you have really really wide feet, then you might want to consider going up a half size. And in terms of the comfort on this shoe, these are pretty much identical to all your other Jordan 1s, so you're going to feel very flat, very low to the ground, and very stable. And the majority of the comfort is coming from the foam insole, so it's not going to be the most plush and the most soft feeling shoe on foot, but for just an everyday casual use shoe, it's going to be perfectly fine. Last but not least, my favorite part about this shoe is definitely the quality. So for a shoe that's arguably not that popular among the masses, Jordan Brand gave us some very premium quality leather, and it wasn't just limited to one of the leathers used. So sometimes for Jordan Brand, one type of leather used might be better than the other on the exact same shoe. But for this pair, the white leather, the red leather, and the orange leather, all three felt very nice in hand. And just by running your fingers across it, you can really feel that it's a nice soft leather. And in terms of the overall craftsmanship, my pair was perfectly fine. I had zero issues with the build, so all in all, a very solid release from Jordan. With all that being said now, let's lace these up and I'll show you guys how these look on feet. I know a lot of people out there are clowning this colorway, calling it things like the McDonald's Jordan ones, but honestly, I'm not too mad at it. I think it actually works a lot better than, for example, the Patina or Mint Air Jordan ones, and this is a really fun summer colorway that I don't mind at all. If you strike out on these for retail, the good thing is the resale prices on this pair are pretty much non-existent. They're going for a few bucks over retail, so it shouldn't break the bank if you have to grab these on the secondary market. 
So let me know in the comment section down below what you guys think about this light fusion red Air Jordan 1. What are your honest thoughts about this colorway? Is this something you guys would rock? Is this something you would cop and then customize to make it look a little bit different? Or was it a straight pass for you? If you guys like this video, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe if you haven't yet. You can follow me on Instagram at esco8. Check me out on Twitter at sean.go and visit my website as well at seango.ca. Before I end this video, another huge shout out goes out to The Closet Inc. So again, for all my Canadian viewers, be sure to check them out. Links are down below. So thank you so much for tuning in and I'll catch you guys all in my next review.